Today, I'm going to show you how I rank number one for free with ChatGPT. You can see, for example, here's my tool on ChatGPT. And you can see this generating traffic right now. It's ranking on Google. If you look at some of the keywords that it's ranking for, you can see that it's ranking for multiple positions on the first page. This is just one of many pages I've created on ChatGPT and actually ranked via SEO. Now, at this point, some people might be saying AI content doesn't rank or anything like that. But as you can see, for example, this AI tool, Claude.ai, you can see that their traffic is just grown exponentially over the last year. And this is a fully AI generated website, right? So today, what I'm going to do is reveal step by step how you can rank number one with ChatGPT as well. And let me just break down the process and also give you an SAP so that you can follow it step by step. If you want to implement this yourself, you'll get that for free at the end of this video. So step number one is to find easy keywords you can actually rank for. That's the start of any SEO campaign. Now, if you're going to do that, what I recommend is you use a prompt like this. We'll plug it into ChatGPT. Let me break it down for you. Now, I'm going to use this prompt right here, which tells ChatGPT, find relevant local SEO keywords for my niche. Why am I for local SEO keywords? Typically because of lower competition. And again, this is a free workflow, so you don't need to pay for any fancy tools to do this. Then I'm going to plug in my niche, and you can just customize this to whatever niche you're in. So I put SEO training for my SEO Elite Circle course. Then I put for keyword research, do this. All outputs for my new website, go for low competition stuff, aim for long tail keywords, don't go too niche, aka people must be searching for the keyword, and aim for local stuff, e.g. SEO training in Hong Kong, SEO training in Vancouver, etc. And what you're trying to do here is get a balance between localized keywords that are going to be low competition, but actually keywords that people are typing into Google directly as well, because you want to make sure there's actually search volume for it. And now you can see what it's doing is generating the keyword ideas for us, now, it's obviously taken the top two that we gave it already, so we'll ignore those. But if we get this example right here, SEO training in New York, for example, let's just check that people are actually searching for it. So I'm going to plug that into a address like this, and you don't need this tool. I'm just validating that it's actually a real keyword that people are actually searching for, and that it's low competition, so that you can understand how this process works and whether it's actually effective. And so what you can see right here, if we take this keyword, SEO training in New York, you can see that it is low competition according to Ahrefs. And it does have traffic potential so people are actually searching for it. And it was very easy to just collate all of those relevant keywords in one single click specific to our niche without paying for any fancy tools. And that basically saves you hundreds of dollars per month. Now, let's check another one. Let's plug this into a dress like so. And we'll see how that performs. And again, you can see it's pretty easy to go for. I would ignore the traffic potential on local search keywords, but at least people are searching for it. And that's another keyword that we could realistically rank for. Easy peasy. Now, once you've done that, you've generated the keyword research for your website, which is step number one. Now we want to create a content outline. How are we going to do that? So we're going to take step number two from the process, which you can see right here. But actually, there's an even better way to automate this. So you can use this prompt right here, and you can plug that into ChatGPT like so, and then we can get our competitors' content. Here's an example and um, we'll get ChatGPT to analyze all the headings. And you can see, for example, it's broken down all the headings from this particular article, along with the subheadings. And it basically gives us a content outline on exactly what to write about, along with all the topics mentioned, the keywords, LSI and entities. So basically the, the main keywords, related keywords, and names and people related to that topic. And that was pretty simple. Now, another way that you can actually automate this is you can use a tool like this content outline generator and you can click the what keyword you want then outline for and again these custom gpts are free to access now so you can see chat gpt 4.0 is free for users and you can see that you can use gpts in the gp store gpt store for free on chat gpt so it's all free to use but what you can do right here is you can plug in your keywords you can say for example SEO training in Hong Kong. And then with that custom GPT, it's actually going to give us examples, a content outline, as you can see right here, in terms of what you could write about and how you could write it and how many words to include in each section to rank for that keyword. Pretty simple and easy to use. It's even got some relevant FAQs related to the topic. And again, it's got the LSI and NLP keywords, as you can see along with relevant entities related to the topic. And by the way, if you don't know what entities are, they're just things related to the topic. So for example, if it's SEO training, then obviously Google is gonna be a very relevant topic to include inside the article. And the more contextually relevant your content looks to the algorithm, the more likely it is to rank. 
And so just to recap, to find easy, relevant keywords in one click, you can use this. To automate your outline, you can either use this prompt right here with your competitor's content, or you can use this tool right here to automate the whole process in one click. Now, what you can also do is you can use ChatGPT to generate the content. Now, at this point, if you want to craft something that's nicely human edited, I'll come on to that in a second, exactly how to do it, so that you're not just creating like spammy content that doesn't add any value. But in the meantime, we'll show you exactly how to create the content. So for example, what you can do is header by header, we can type these headers in, for example, into this prompt right here. And then we're gonna say for content creation, make it easy to read, conversational, UK grammar, add FAQs, headers, keyword in the first and last line, write the article in the tonality of Alex Hormozzi, no fluff, nothing cringe, every sentence on a new line. Formal language and keep it neutral. Plus, include some relevant stories and that sort of thing. So, this will write section one of the article, as you can see right here. And you can see the writing itself is actually pretty nice. So, for example, ever wondered why SEO training is such a big deal, especially in Hong Kong? Let's break it down. Like, that's not your usual chat GPT fluff. It's not spammy at all. It's actually just quite interesting to read. And then it says, get notice online, the internet is packed, thousands of websites pop up daily. If you want yours to stand out, you need SEO. Like, the quality of content inside this article is not perfect, but it's definitely better than most writers that I've hired, speaking from personal experience. And then you can see, inside this article, it does start hallucinating right here, right? So for example, it says, take XYZ company, they were struggling online, blah, blah, blah. But at that point, that's why you need the human editing process, which we'll come on to in a second. Now, when you're using and creating this content, with a prompt like this, what you can also do is you can take this particular prompt for creating content and generate it heading by heading so that you can create the whole article. But at the same time, you can also add source context, right? And source context basically tailors this content to your industry or to your business so that it promotes you throughout the content so that it's more likely to convert. Because if you're going to rank for a keyword, but it doesn't make you any money or it doesn't get you any leads, there's absolutely no point, right? You want to be really efficient with the keywords you actually rank for. And so what we're going to do is inside the source contact section right here, I will say, promote Julian Goldie's SEO Elite Circle training program throughout the content as the best SEO training. And so what that's going to do is start promoting my training program throughout the content so that it's more likely to convert and also in the FAQs, etc. Plus, this is more unique versus my competitors. My competitors aren't going to talk about that particular subject, which makes my content more unique and different versus everyone else. Very easy to do. And so with this prompt right here, you just insert the heading, generate the content heading by heading, you insert the source context. The reason that I would generate the content heading by heading is sometimes that ChatGPT is going to veer off on a crazy tangent and not be very helpful at all. So that's why you want to generate it and keep it on a tight leash. And then you've got the rest of the prompt down here. Next up, what you can actually do is just run it through an SEO manual quality control checklist like this. So once you've generated all the content, obviously you're taking that raw piece of content and sculpting it into something that's actually quite useful. And it's helpful not just for ranking, which ChatGPT can do, but also for helping the user when they land on the page. And that avoids people pogo sticking, plus it avoids you spamming out content. And so in this video, I've shown you how to find the keywords and I've shown you proof that actually works. I've shown you how to do the content outline in one single click and how to automate that if you don't even wanna use the prompt. I've shown you how to generate the content that's actually better than the most humans. And I've shown you how to edit it so that is more interesting and engaging than your typical AI spam. So that the content isn't spammy and actually helps the user. Plus I've shown you proof, as you can see right here, that you can actually rank with ChatGPT content. And that's basically it. So what I'm gonna do is I will take this free SAP right here on how to rank number one free with ChatGPT. And if you want access to that, you can get it directly inside my free course which comes with 81 free lessons, SAPs, and tutorials on how to rank number one using SEO. So if you scroll to the SEO system section, then chat GPT, you can find the SAP right down there. 
And so at this stage, you might be asking, well, is it free? And I would say absolutely. Every single stage of this process is completely free. It doesn't cost you any money. You might also say, how long does it take? And I would say probably the most time consuming part of the process is a human editing, which might be like 30 to 40 minutes. Some people might be watching this and say, you can't rank with ChatGPT, but I've shown you proof of it already. And you might also ask, okay, what's your favorite AI SEO tool that's free at the minute? And I would actually say I prefer Claw 3.5 Sonnet versus ChatGPT, but I know some people are still loyal to ChatGPT, so that's why I've created this. So thanks so much for watching. Link is inside the comments if you want free access to the SEO course I've talked about. And if you want to get more leads, traffic and sales and make more money for your website, feel free to book in a free SEO strategy session and we'll give you a free SEO domination plan. You'll discover the secrets of link building. Frank, we'll answer any questions you have and we'll show you exactly how to make more money for your website using SEO. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.